Okay, this is the uh, third video in this series. Uh, this video we're going to learn how to make roaming profiles, uh, very similar to mandatory profiles, uh, with one slight exception I'll show you. Uh, so let's go ahead and log on B Smith and make his roaming profile. Okay, here we are on B. Smith's desktop. And first things first, to get rid of that annoying thing, I'm going to right click, arrange my icons, and let's go ahead and drag some icons out there. Let's drag the MSM Butterfly and Bob likes playing games. So let's go ahead and put hearts out here. And let's put the calculator out here. Okay, so we got the four icons. Once again, uh, the wallpaper. Um, I don't think I explained it last one, but the ones with the little paintbrushes, those are actually bitmaps. The ones with the squares here, those are JPEGs. So as long as it's got a little paintbrush and it's um, both on all the computers and the server that you'll be working on, then my profile will carry over from computer to computer. So I'm going to go down here and I'm going to pick up XP Shadow, apply, and here's Bob Smith's desktop. So it's the same thing, we're going to log out of Bob Smith. And we're going to log in as the administrator to the local machine. And once in here is the administrator, we're going to click start, right click my computer, properties, advanced tab. Back to the user profile, settings, and there's Bob Smith. And that's the one we're going to copy to, once again, our server. So we're going to go click on my network places, entire network, Microsoft Windows network, Randy, and once again, if you didn't see it in the other video, you may get a pop-up here asking for your server login and server password. And we're going to click here, we'll go down to profiles, or roaming profiles this time into Bob Smith. I'm going to say OK. And the change, once again, everyone has uh, has been set up on that profiles folder to have full control. And we're going to type in AVE, go check names, and have sign in to the server. And we're in the server, and there's that everyone group. And we're going to say OK, OK, and nothing exists in that directory, so we're going to go ahead and say yes. And we're going to say OK here, and OK here, and log off this administrator. Now we're going to go back to our server. And in the server, we're going to first of all, we'll go look at the uh, my E drive under Profiles, Roaming, Bob Smith. We're not going to change the user.dat. This is the one thing that you that's different from mandatory. Uh, we want Bob to be able to change his desktop and move from computer to computer. So we're going to leave user.dat the same. Now we're going to go up and go to Administrative Tools. Active Directory, Users and Computers. And in Active Directory, we're going to go to Bob Smith. I'm going to double click to get into his Profile tab. And there's the profile path we want. And either you can type it in if you know it from memory, or if you don't know it from memory, go to My Network Places, Entire Network, Microsoft Windows Network, to your server, to your server, to your profiles folder, to your roaming, to Bob Smith, and there's Bob Smith's profile. And we'll copy this. And we'll paste it in Bob Smith's profile. And I will put the 
backslash at the end again. Okay, so Bob Smith now has a roaming profile, and we will go back to computer one, our user one dash XP. Log in as Bob Smith. And there's Bob Smith's desktop. Now, let's go to user 2 XP and we'll log Bob in there. And there's his roaming desktop. So he's logged in actually in computer one and computer two now. So let's go, we're in computer two. Uh, let's go ahead and log him out of here and go back to user one dash XP, the first computer. And let's go ahead and let him change something. Let's uh, put the Windows Media Player out there and let's put the Windows Messenger out there. So we just added two two icons to a desktop. So let's go check this out. We'll log him off here. And let's log him back on and see if those icons stayed. And there they are. So that's the difference between the roaming and the mandatory. The mandatory, they would have disappeared. The roaming, Bob has uh, free access to his desktop. And now let's uh, log him off here. And let's log him on to, this is uh, user 2XP, the second computer, and see if those icons carried over to this desktop when he logs in. and there they are. So as you can see the roaming profile will give you your desktop no matter which computer you're on and that's uh, what we set out to accomplish and we accomplished it. That's the end of this video. Thank you.